Los poemas que nos enseñan un hombre de visión y entrega. El hombre que nos llevó hasta un país independiente. Hoy celebramos su vida en el estadio cumpliendo sus 103 años. Un gigante que nos regaló una nueva nación como este país. El padre de la nación es considerado el arquitecto de la independencia fundador del Partido Unido del Pueblo, un partido político que encabezó por cuatro décadas. En septiembre del 2000, Trae se convirtió en la primera persona en recibir el más alto honor de Belice, la, la Orden de Héroe Nacional, por el papel prominente que juega a encaminar a nuestro país hacia la independencia. Nuestro héroe nacional, hoy en el día de su cumpleaños, recibe este reconocimiento y nuestro, nosotros como obedecemos, celebramos con amor y orgullo. Luego seamos, en, sigamos sus pasos de lucha constructiva y pacífica, humildad y desinteresada en el desarrollo de nuestro país. Que viva la legacía del gran Church Kelly Price. Gracias.
grande libro del profeta Isaías. Por amor a Sion no me callaré, y por amor a Jerusalén no me daré reposo, hasta que surja en ella esplendoroso el justo y brille su salvación como una torre. Entonces las naciones verán tu justicia y tu gloria todos los reyes. Te llamarán con un nombre nuevo pronunciado por la boca del Señor. Serás corona de gloria en la mano del Señor y diadema real en la palma de su mano. Ya no te llamarán abandonado ni a tu tierra desolada. A ti te llamarán mi complacencia y a tu tierra desposada. Porque el Señor se ha complacido en ti y se ha desposado con tu tierra. Como un joven se desposa con una doncella, se desposará contigo tu hacedor. Como el esposo se alegra con la esposa, Así se alegrará tu Dios contigo. Palabra de Dios. Palabra de Dios. Lectura de la primera carta del apóstol San Pablo a los Corintios. Hermano, hay diferentes dones, pero el Espíritu es el mismo. Hay diferentes servicios, pero el Señor es el mismo. Hay diferentes actividades, pero Dios que hace todo en todos, es el mismo. En cada uno se manifiesta el Espíritu para el bien común. Uno recibe el don de la sabiduría, otro el don de la ciencia. A uno se le concede el don de la fe, a otro la gracia de hacer curaciones y a otro más poderes milagrosos. Uno recibe el don de profecía y otro el de discernir los espíritus. Pero es un solo y el mismo espíritu el que hace todo esto, distribuyendo a cada uno sus dones según su voluntad. Palabra de Dios. Hay muchos dones muchas responsabilidades, muchos papeles en el mundo y en la iglesia a uno se le concede el don de la fe, a otro la gracia de hacer curaciones a otro, a otro poderes milagrosos uno recibe, recibe el don de profecía otro de discernir los espíritus a uno se le concede el don de lenguas a otro de interpretarlas muchos dones con una sola iglesia con un solo espíritu Así es en Belice, así fue con el George Kittle Price. Él fue llamado por Dios a ser Prime Minister, primer ministro. A mí no me va a llamar a, a ese papel, yo tengo otro papel. A ti probablemente no te va a llamar a ser Prime Minister tampoco, pero tienes un papel en la iglesia, tienes algo importante que hacer. En el mundo, en Belice, en la iglesia, Dios tiene un plan para ti y quiere que tú te hagas corresponsable, incluso corresponsable del bien de la patria. Traje unas citas de George Price que vienen exactamente al caso. Dicen son quotes from George Price that I got out of speeches that he gave or interviews that he gave. So I watched these things on YouTube and I was typing down the contents. These are direct quotes from YouTube talks that he gave, you can also find them uh, on YouTube. St. Paul says that we all have a different role in the world and the church and God's a plan for each of us. So true. But we're all called to be responsible for our brothers and sisters. That's something we have in common. We're all called to do the good for the well-being of other folks. 
and other illusions and actors. This is what the Buddha says. The good says, works for the good of the country. He is a good citizen anywhere in the world. He is a good citizen on our earth and in heaven. Bringing earth nearer to heaven. I love that quote. This is from the graduation speech that he gave at Claver College in, I'm not saying it's in the world. The good citizen does what? He brings earth nearer to heaven. If you want to memorize a quote from the founder of our country, Belize, that might be a good one. The good citizen, the good Belizean, brings earth nearer to heaven. He makes earth a little bit more like heaven, a little bit more just, a little bit more peaceful, a little bit more full of respect, but not merely respect and not merely tolerance. The good citizen makes earth more like heaven. And in heaven, there's, there's not merely tolerance or respect, there's also love and affection appreciation for the name. So a good belief, John says, for Christ following the secret scripture, following his conscience, well formed after having gone to Mass every single day for years. You don't go to Mass every single day for years and not have a changed conscience, an enlightened mind. You get wisdom through the Mass. You get wisdom you go to Mass every Sunday, don't miss Mass on Sunday because you're missing out on some wisdom that you could have had when you miss Mass on Sunday. Among other many other gifts that you miss out on when you miss Mass on Sunday. But if you really want wisdom, go to Mass every day. This wisdom of George Christ is born out of a relationship with Jesus who is all true. Right? We as Christians believe that truth isn't an ideology. It's not just a concept or a philosophy. The truth we believe is a person. His name is Jesus. The Logos became man. He was already wisdom. He was already the Logos. Source of all truth and intelligibility. Perfect reflection, reflection of the Father from all eternity in heaven. Then he became man. And he said when he walked on earth, Yo soy la verdad. I am Way the truth in the Bible. So, camino, la verdad y la vida. Digo Jesús. So, that's where Church Press had this wisdom from Jesus. Meet Jesus in the day to day, in the day to day prayer life we have, in daily mass in this case, and in serving folks around the observing. Good citizen of Belize brings Belize nearer to heaven. Changing the words just a bit. A good citizen of Belize brings Belize nearer to heaven. Yes, he said. In another interview, in an interview rather, with a journalist from the island of the Caribbean who came to Belize to interview him, he said, he asked, You're present. How did you avoid ideology? How did you avoid causing division and problems of your own particular ideology that would have alienated other delusions? This was George Price's answer. First of all, our Constitution recognizes the supremacy of God. That is the first thing. And from that recognition stems all the things that follow. If there is a God, and there is a God, continues George Price, there must be right and wrong, and we must do that right. We must do that right, and think that's right. So he's talking about the rest of the things that follow the rest of the Constitution, all those justices and all those goods and all those rights and duties that, that, that fill the Constitution of Belize, they all stem from the preamble of the Constitution, that first part of the Constitution that says that Belize is founded in God. Let me read his words again. Not mine, but George Price's words were exactly this. First of all, our Constitution recognizes the supremacy of God. That doesn't mean 
that believes this and a state that promotes a certain religion, right? There's freedom of religion and belief. But it also does not mean that Belize is a place free from religion, which is which is the confusion that's out there. Right? There are two or three people in Belize that would like Belize to be free from religion, not free for religion, and for the religion of, of all good people and all good citizens. No, the Constitution does talk about God. So we don't want to eliminate God from the public square. We don't want to eliminate God from the public discussion. We don't want to eliminate God from the cabinet. We don't want to eliminate God from elections. But neither do we promote one certain religion. Freedom for religion. Freedom of religion. I'm going back to these words again. First of all, our Constitution recognizes the supremacy of God. This is the first thing. And from that recognition stem all the things that follow. If there is a God, and there is a God, there must be right and wrong. And we must do the right. So powerful, so powerful, right? So powerful and such a healthy foundation for a country. Believe in God leads you, belief in God leads you to do what's right. Confusion about God, denying God, leads you rather on tenuous ground and less motivated to do the right. We make that wrong, as we know. It's not something that you just have in your head. Faith is not just a notion, it's not just an idea, it's not just some thought. Faith, faith rather is a way of life. Faith is doing what you believe. That's what real faith is. George Price read the gospel when he was young. He also read the social teaching of the Catholic Church, encyclicals, writings, little books on social theology, on social justice, written by Pope Leo XIII, Pope Pius XII, Pope John XXIII. These things formed him formed him into a warrior for justice and an untiring searcher for truth and justice and well-being for all believers. He didn't have a faith that George Christ didn't have a faith that just remained in his head. He wanted faith and life to come together. They did in his person. And he wanted it to happen for all believers. He wanted faith and life to come together for believers. Not be a disconnect, not be an incoherence between what religions say they believe and what religions do day to day. No! Our faith in God informs our daily actions, our treatment of our neighbor, our courage to ask forgiveness and to forgive those who have hurt us. Faith and life come together when we decide to not take that next drink and drink too much. Not drink and drive. Faith and life come together when we decide to go out of our way to help someone who needs help. That's the one time we asked first. Christ, if he had any regrets after retiring from politics, this is how he answered it. No, I don't have any regrets. Many things were decided in prayer. The guidance of the Holy Spirit. We prayed at our cabinet meetings. And looking back at the years, I can see the hand of God. What a beautiful witness. Que testimonio más lindo que nos da George Price. Cuando dice, no tengo remordimiento sobre mi tiempo eh, siendo presidente o prime minister, perdón, primer ministro de Dice, no tengo remordimientos. En otras palabras, tal vez cometimos algún error, pero siempre teníamos buenas intenciones. ¿Por qué? Porque orábamos en el gabinete. Orábamos y tomábamos la mejor decisión que podíamos. Por eso no tengo remordimientos. Pero ¿qué es lo más lindo? Que un primer ministro habla de la oración que oraba con su gente en el nivel más alto de la patria del, del país. Qué lindo 
bonito ese testimonio. Él no separaba fe y religión. Él no dejó a Dios afuera del gabinete. Hoy en día nos quieren convencer de que tenemos que dejar a Dios lejos de nosotros cuando tomamos decisiones. Como si supiéramos mejor, mejor que Él. Dejar a Dios fuera de la familia, incluso fuera de la escuela, fuera del gobierno, ni hablar. No caigamos en esa seducción. Looking back at the years, I can see the hand of God. Un hombre que ve la providencia de Dios trabajando en la historia de Dios. He sees the providence of God. Which brings me back to the first thing that I said when we started this mass. In the providence of God, Guatemala is celebrating its major feast day today. The Cristo Negro de Esquipulas is the patron of Guatemala, our neighbor here to the west. And here on the east side of the Mopan River, we're celebrating the birthday of the man who's the father of the country. Seems like a contradiction. It's not at all. In the providence of God, it's, it's a beautiful piece of poetry. It's beautiful poetry. Because God loves Guatemala. And God loves Belize. God wants Belize to exist as his own sovereign country, of course. Right? Praise God for that. But we see that there can be in truth when we, when we are... At our best, there can be a great unity between Belize and Guatemala. Not a unity of homogeneity where Belize disappears into Guatemala. That, that would not be unity, that would be, that would be just kind of some kind of homogeneity that would make the Belize cease to be Belize. That, that's not going to happen, that's not the providence of God, that's not the will of God. But it is the will of God that there be cooperation and unity and harmony among peoples and among nations. So God set it up that the founder of Belize would be born on the day that Guatemala celebrates its major feast day. Praise be God for His providence. Praise be God for His goodness that gives us the Lord, the Father in heaven, gives us the Lord Jesus and powerfully present in, in the shrine of Escapulas in our neighboring country where Jesus does miracles for the Guatemalan people. But if you have, and I have, more faith in Jesus, even the Cristo Negro, Jesus, the Cristo Negro de Escapulas, the Lord Jesus will do miracles for us as well. May it be so. Amen. <laughs>